This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2022. The pathology of the rotator cuff causes substantial pain and disability. A surgical approach using subacromial decompression is thought to relieve impingement of tendons in the shoulder, thereby alleviating pain. However, outcomes reported following surgical rotator cuff repair are ambiguous. Researchers from Canada thus sought to investigate the long-term efficacy of subacromial decompression in patients with full-thickness rotator cuff tears. In their previous study, the researchers noted no significant differences in the functional outcomes of patients who underwent rotator cuff repair with or without acromioplasty and had a two-year follow-up. In the current study, the authors re-evaluated the same patients over a longer follow-up period of 11 years to understand the long-term effects of the procedure on post-operative outcomes. Of the 86 patients from the original study, 31 from the group without acromioplasty and 25 from the acromioplasty group were reassessed in a blinded manner. Patients were evaluated using the Western Ontario Rotator Cuff, WORC index, a self-administered health questionnaire, a questionnaire about reoperation, and a clinical assessment. Findings from the analysis revealed that patients who underwent rotator cuff repair experienced improvements in functional outcomes, irrespective of the use of acromioplasty, with no significant differences in WORC scores across both the groups. Notably, 16% of patients who underwent repair without acromioplasty underwent a reoperation, compared with 2% of patients from the acromioplasty group. Overall, these findings suggest that subacromial decompression is associated with improved postoperative outcomes. Acromioplasty may help to reduce the risk of reoperation in patients undergoing rotator cuff repair.